news today. A kid was gunned down in the streets by a police officer. Witnesses say the suspect was unarmed. Hands peeling in the air, surrendering and cooperating. Police officer still shoots. Did that officer feel that young black man's gun pot of skin spits bullets from within, or hmm, did he just need to empty out some frustration, say, I'll just write a report. Say he ran or resisted. He fits the description of someone we've been looking for. All these thugs look the same. What would the people believe? These hoodlums or me? Besides, I could use a paid vacation if all else fails. This badge will give me a mental illness claim. Bang! Another brother's Ziploc body bag getting carried away. Have you heard the news today? Mm -hmm. In this land of the so-called free, we have the constitutional right to peacefully protest, speaking out against this corrupted justice system, marching in the streets wanting answers, but we miss the fine print that reads, there will be consequences. Mm -hmm. Police and military riot gear. Canines, fire hoses. I can feel the tear gas is burning my face. I can hear my bones break. Have you heard the news today? Mm -hmm. Police are sworn under oath to serve and protect our community. And we know that bullets have no names, but apparently their trigger fingers have an appetite for minorities mm -hmm. and majorities. We get no justice when police use their peace as a black man in this country. So we just go back to being slaves, Mr. Officer. Can I see your ID? Mm -hmm. You as a criminal just as much as you do me. You heard the news today. Mm. I never understood when my parents never wanted us to have toy guns. I understand now. The only privilege I have when it comes to open carry is the right to be open, to be buried. A mother's womb was never branded with death sentence articles. Fathers don't wrap their pride in joy and target practice sheets. Babies don't cry chalk outlines. Most mm. parents believe that their child will grow up to do great things. Not be a homicide with more questions than answers. We are dying. We are crying. We has never been more important in my lifetime than now. We no. can't forget Michael Brown mm. on his hands. John Crawford buying a pellet gun in Walmart. 13-year-old Andy Lopez, seven bullets to the chest for holding a toy wooden gun. These names were never meant to be metaphors or examples in our poems or national headlines. Their parents, family, and friends will hold on to this pain because we get over and over again. Mm. We sadly move on to another story. So many shots fired and bloodshed. It's hard to hear the news today. Woo!